Good morning! Is there music? Do you guys hear the music? Because I don't hear anything. For some reason. Hi. <clears throat> it's quiet. I don't know why. My mic is like... Being weird today. Hold on. Test. Uh... Okay. Alright. Hello, everybody! We're gonna play a detective game today. A somewhat spooky detective game. I don't know. It kind of seems spooky on the launch screen. It does seem a little spooky. Are you guys ready? I do have some snacks here. I have some seaweed snacks, but I'll try not to be too obnoxious about eating them because they're very crunchy. <laughs> Mm. Gotta eat breakfast, it's important for your brain. All right, let us begin. Can you guys hear the spooky sounds of the game? Alright, one more before we begin. Morning time is whatever time you wake up, okay? It has nothing to do with the real world time. It has to do with your inner clock. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. You guys wearing your headphones? It's important. Hmm. Is this an ASMR game or something? Oh, I like the music already. This is a perfect game to eat breakfast too. Well, I just have like a little bit of this microwave rice. With the rice snacks, it's tasty. We're to swamp. 2025 last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. What time is that? A small ATM? tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Hold on. A tourist attraction? Here? That seems fun. I want to go on a tourist attraction in a swamp. It. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this. It's all voice! This area is famous. Famous? All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Ooh, aliens! There's aliens! We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't see what matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. Oh. The prime suspect? There was that's a murder, right? This is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? Uh -huh. You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? Is the game too loud? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only know the bare essentials at this point. Yeah, the voice acting is cool. It's fine? Okay. Also, I see that I'm peeking for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Let's see, the police file. Bugu bug. Bugu 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 bugu. <laughs> Richard Remington, founder of tourist attraction Boggy's Bog, was found dead outside his office at 2045 last night. 20. That that's 8 p.m. Isn't it? <clears throat> like I, the 24-hour time sometimes confuses me. Don't worry, I got it. Exact cause of death unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. God, I'm so smart. I see a clawed creature. It could be somebody wearing like wolverine claws. Slime around the wound and footprints around. Oh, found at the scene suggests the culprit was Boggy, the legendary swamp creature. Oh, finally got his revenge from this guy monetizing his life. 
and if the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Oh, This could be carefully crafted. Right? It could be... Fake! Planted out of evidence! <laughs> That's a suspect! Why is it standing in a bowl? It looks like a plant. Like one of those, uh, carnivorous plants. The bell blossom? No, wait, not blossom. What's the other one? It's in the Team Rocket. It goes, Ooh, ah, makes a noise like that. Bell! Weeping bell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy <laughs> is the name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That oh, I thing see. Is There's our a cartoon murder character suspect? based off of him? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Whoa. Sweet cutscene! <gasps> no, not the head! Hmm. Chapter 1. It remind, that reminded me I saw... I was on a boat one time, and I saw uh, an older gentleman standing, like, kind of at the rear of the boat or whatever. It was just a random person. And... His hat blew away. He was wearing like a beanie and it blew away <laughs> into the water and I watched it and I was like, oh no. And then he <laughs> went into his jacket and he pulled out another beanie. <laughs> like immediately. I was like, oh, why does he have two hats? It's so weird. Your case file is in All right, the top let's right. begin. Case files in the top right. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. It's kind of loud. The uh, the audio got a little louder. Hold on, I'm just gonna turn it down. One second. What the heck, it's not doing anything. Oh. Okay. You look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. When you've collected some, of course. Oh. I'll stay and guard our boat, so if you're confused. Come back here and I'll hit. I you. like the click sound. It reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. That's where I need to go. I can switch to walk mode with the button in the bottom right. Oh, and if I'm feeling calm, I see, because it's a point and click. I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. Sparkly hit icons? Where? I don't see any. Okay. So, this is the progress. Ah, uh, these are our, all the people we get to talk to today. Just going over the basic stuff. Oh yeah, it sounds like Don't Starve. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so we have our profile here of Boggy. I don't know if Boggy actually looks like this. It's like a... Kind of like a frog mix, but with, uh... Enos tentacles, but green. Mysterious creature. Challenge. What is this? Is this my friendly bar? It's not been officially cited for 60 years. Well, that tourist attraction is lame then. Oh, I see. This is our next... Profile. Mm, the boss, the murder victim. Damn, you got a skinny neck. Hope you enjoy your visit to Buggy's Bug. Audio sound outside his office in the swamp. Remington receives three small wounds on the chest. Remington has mysterious slime around his wound. Ew. Okay. A simple wooden dock. Looks like it can just about hold my weight. Ooh, that's sketchy. Ah. Ah. No, I just, I just wanted to click on you. Uh, what do I do? Your mustache is... Your mustache is troubling. It smells... Thing seems to be longer every time I see you. 
You've been warned about this, detective. Don't <laughs> talk about my facial hair, and I won't talk about yours. What's wrong with mine? Yeah, it's perfectly under control. Non-existent. It's trimmed and ready for action. Grimoire, you're supposed to be investigating a murder. Stop wasting time. Hmm. Fire. A lot of fog and a lot of trees. I can't wait to visit that area. A lot of fog. That must. Oh. That must be the entrance to Boggy's Bar. That's where I need to get. I can switch to walk. Oh, I can turn off those spark. All right, just checking everything. Dock. Yep, ah, can I have some soup? What is that? So soup? Hot chocolate? Troubling you. I want some. <sighs> okay, let's go. Who's that? Oh. oh! Oh! Wow, he didn't get lost yet. No, I, well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't Love and Wait, remember. no. Wait, never mind. <laughs> I didn't see her name. Great at remembering. I should be offended though. I remember you. Wait, am I playing the second game? I've never seen you before. I've never seen you before. Saw your hat blow through here already. You must be slow. If it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after it. You can wait here and be <laughs> Don't get lost. I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay Oh, that's here. nice. There's been a murder. Although, I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature. But it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. No. Nope. Oh. He's a different sort of Important creature. Important information here. Wait, what do you mean? If you... Hmm. She disappeared. Hmm? I might pretend I'm not... Hmm. Okay. Let us examine. Is an opportunity for a photographic memento. Nice. The two characters are an explorer and Boggy himself. Oh. Are they fighting? Oh, it's violent. I think he's. Oh yeah, he's got him in his chokehold. <laughs> his body looks like a banana. I a banana. Oh, what is that? It's an old statue of Boggy. Oh, creepy. It's hidden in a bucket of murky water. Why does he have a bucket? Because he can't survive out of the land? Hello, everybody. There's like a lot of people saying hello at the same time. Hi. Uh, just an odd old tree. No clues, just mud. Mm, mushroom. It's an old statue of Bach. No clues. Mushroom. Is an opera the two characters. I still don't quite understand why we have a tourist attraction here. You can put a tourist attraction anywhere. Don't forget to use walk mode to move around. Alright, I guess that's everything. I don't forget. Just Making sure. luck, the gate's closed. It looks like I can move these metal latches around. Oh, puzzle! I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Just one of them? Okay. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna get stuck in this part. <laughs> then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Mm. It's so slippery. Hey, nice. Oh. I'll get one of these from my office. That was easy. This is the tourist attraction? The whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. Let's do some thinking. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom. Oh, there's like a mini game for thinking. <laughs> is it like an equation thing? And flick through the connecting statements in between to make a sentence. Tap the confirm button to try it out. Oh! I just have to focus my thoughts and reach a conclusion. Boggy's bog seems like the middle of nowhere. The swamp is way too big. Or... Is it warm enough? It's too... far too remote for...
to make any money. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction. <laughs> he sounds like a robot. <laughs> mm, it's really bugging me. What's the story behind this place? There's a hollow part of the tree uh, mm. right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. That's cool though. Can you go inside of it? Oh, there's spooky there's eyes. Look. A hollow Apparently, there's a museum to the left and a cafe. This is to pretty the right. big for like some random small tourist attraction. I'm not hungry though. This place is putting me off food. Mm -hmm. It's a fork in the road. How non-linear. It's a fork. Apparently, it is a museum to... Uh, Alright, I guess that's it. Those, oh. those trees are more dense. It's like a forest back there. It's like a forest back there. Alright. What do you guys think? You guys want to go to the cafe or the museum first? I'm already eating breakfast, so I feel like we don't really need to go to the cafe. But I kind of want to see their options. Like, what if they have a cool swamp curry or something, you know? I like those themed cafes. Yeah, you guys want to see the cafe, right? Okay, all right, all right. You guys got food on the brain. I should visit the crime scene before I do anything Damn else. It. I think Officer James said it was to the west. A rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. It looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's Bog. I can't wait. Bongi's Bog! Bongi's Bog! It looks like this path... I... I should visit the crime... I think Officer James... It just clicking like everywhere just in case I miss anything. A rather prominent... I should... I think... Alright, here we go. Continue! There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. Oh! Possible, possible murder route? It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. Rocks sitting in the water like stepping stones. If that was a natural occurrence, it's a very convenient one. This area is... Oh. And that's the path that leads back past the protest and... Oh, sorry, I clicked by accident. It's okay. Oh. We said it was west, so we keep going west? Or do we go on the stepping stones? I feel like I'm gonna get made fun of for not picking the right one. Not by you guys, but in the game, they're gonna be like, They said it was west. I should visit the- <laughs> The strange footprints stop right by these reeds. Maybe I should take a closer look. Maybe I can move some of them out of the way. Ooh, this is like Among Us minigame! A strange pair of green flippers. It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's inside the office. It's all fake! Or maybe this is a souvenir you can get at the cafe. Ah, uh, I can't get in here without a key. And I don't feel like kicking the door down. Maybe if I get desperate later on. So, this is where they found Remington's body. Ooh, I got an achievement on Steam. Right. I guess something got added here. Oh, the picture? No, it's been there. Mm hmm. Oh, there's the map. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. There are bizarre footprints with three toes leading up to the office door. And back down into those reeds by the water. Yeah, but what about these little footprints? There's like boot footprints. I guess that's the guy. Alright, into the house! There's an open window above Remington's body. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. That means there was a struggle. He got pushed out. Can we climb? No, I think it's too tall to climb. I don't like it here. 
I don't like the strange foot. Maybe I did this. I don't. All right, is that it then? Ah, uh, I can maybe. I guess we go back. What is this question mark again? Oh, there's another area. I think that's probably the house, but we can't get inside of it yet, right? This area, you guys think so? Oh, you can't see my cursor. Wait, you can't see. I feel like this game's important to see the cursor. Hold on. Oh, oops. There it is. Okay. There we go. Now you can see it. <clears throat> it's small Ahmed in the suit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Back. <gasps> ah, some suspects. Let's get this investigation started. Hmm? Oh, right. look at his neck! Another suspect for my notebook. <laughs> That's a little rude. No, no. rude. I'm sorry. Did What's I so say rude that about bit that? out loud? Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. So, would you be able to answer my questions before I asked you? Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I could try. I'm Bobby Burl, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. Burl. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night. I guess that is rude, calling somebody a suspect. Grimoire. <laughs> Strange. Is that your first name? <laughs> Detective is my first name. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. <laughs> uh, what is this? Present a clue. Last night, your job, present a profile. Let's do your job first. So you already told me what you do, but now, why would a cameraman be working here? I go where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Vincent Vanderpeer. You mean that man standing on that rock over there? That's oh, right. there was a lady. For many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission <laughs> until about a week ago. Oh, mm. really? But why did you want to come here in the first place? If you're the murder's for a fake. To write down in your it's all for, I'm sure for can tell you if merchandising and I'm just attention. The guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. Last night. You were here yesterday, I presume. Last night. Yes, I was. Uh, here in this clearing. No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Ooh. Richard Remington was there too. Remington? You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? Oh. That's right, I saw him. He left the cafe looking rather ill. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Maybe the, the swamp creature was trying to revive him. But he accidentally stabbed him with his claws, but... We need a... We need an autopsy on the body. I think, um... Can't you tell whether or not the claw marks were the cause of the kill? So maybe he was sick and he stumbled and he fell out the window and then the swamp monster actually tried to help him. He tried to give him CPR, a little kiss. But the claws, you know, as he was... CPR actually can be pretty intense. You can't you like move ribs around or like crack them or something while you're doing it by accident because you have to do it pretty strongly so maybe that's what happened <laughs> um i don't know if i want to give a clue you really want to let people know that like what clues were found on the scene i guess we'll do with this present a profile i guess we'll do bug ask someone else oh. try showing it to somebody different What is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Yeah, he doesn't know what to do with that. Well, might as well try all our options. Mm-hmm. That's great. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> I'm sorry I have not seen that before. Well, I guess that's it. Ah. Yes, do you have a message for me? Uh, no. I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. You don't look it. Who are you anyway? What a question. You're serious? I am Vincent Vanderpeer. The famous movie director? Oh! The artist, the visionary, 
the Artur. Artur. I'm a man of many talents. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my questions. Oh, maybe if we butter him up. That is a very talented beard you've got, at least. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? But then I'll I didn't like that. Find a way to talk to you. I know. Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? Uh, a ghost? What the heck? The <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> film here in the swamp. Vincent van der Peer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Van der Peer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Wasn't given permission to film in the swamp. That's a challenge? <clears throat> Good job. What's a famous guy like you doing in a place like this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite, Are there quite. subtitles? I'm oh, sure I'll check. Thinking, Why doesn't Wait, it says up here we don't need subtitles. But that's not the way this director works. Right here. But what are you doing? I'm feeling, I'm experiencing, I'm discovering this area, the history, the atmosphere. It's the atmosphere. perfect setting for my next film. I'm on a scouting mission to get to know this swamp before I begin work on the latest masterpiece in a string of masterpieces. You're making a movie about Boggy? About the swamp creature? Of course. He's a fascinating individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't met him yet. Uh, is that your cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby oh, we get to meet him. Right -hand man. That's exciting. Well, Faithful this guy's head looks like a chip. <laughs> no, I don't. It does. Know. He's an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. But he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Uh, like how? You mean he's lazy? He doesn't look lazy. That's a bit scary. Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts him from his oh? work. But I wouldn't want anyone else shooting for me. What's the hobby? I oh, heard shit. this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the in the swamp? What are you talking about? You tried to film here before, but the camera broke. Remington has denied you the filming permission in the past. Remington never found out about your previous attempts. Well, obviously this is it, but am I supposed to be playing some sort of mind game here? I don't know. Is it some sort of mind game? Is that it? I saw somebody say one. That's right. I'm the detective here. Let's lie. We don't want him to know. We know. I tried to film here before, Back. but the camera broke. And let's think about this one again. Oh, so you have to try again. Where? What are you talking about? Okay. It's not some sort of mind game. You tried to film here before, but What? No way. What? Isn't that it? Where? What are you Oh, I see it changed. Remington has denied you the filming permission in the past. Got it. Oh, that. Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Every situation simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. You understand, I'm sure. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. Oh. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes, too. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Oh, sweet. Okay, we got flowers, a picture, a sword, a money bag. I am famous. Money. Right. That's the one. 
Money is always the answer. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming rights. Well, bribe is a strong word. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting upset about. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. Just a favor for a favor. That's so a pretty good deal. Him money. Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Oh, he could have arranged for his death. Because he didn't want to pay him. Were you working yesterday? Uh, here in the swamp, I mean? Indeed I was working. Very hard indeed. Well into the night. Hmm, hard work is it? Getting to know the swamp? You jest. But yesterday I was getting even more involved than usual. Yes, difficult to comprehend, I know. So what kind of work were you doing? Well, I was, uh, unable to find my faithful cameraman last night. Oh, he had okay. He himself quite completely from view. Bobby Burrow, right? Did he, he say it? Did he say where he was? Always. He told us. Being a resourceful type of man, I stepped up and took on the responsibility myself. I was filming in this exact area, in fact. You were filming? Last night? Here? Yes. At the time of the murder, I believe. Oh! Wait, I know what you're thinking. Now, don't forget, I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. I have no interest in late-night surveillance footage. Did you see anything at all? Or what is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. Ah. It's a fascinating subject. Did we get to see the video? Captivated to the point where so, I... you didn't see anything useful? I'm excited there for a minute. Nothing useful to you, my good detective. But mm. there are some odd sounds on the audio track. Ooh. Nothing but wild animals going about their nighttime rituals, I'm sure. I want to hear it. Can we hear it? something I should ask the cameraman? <sighs> My lost hat, the night sky, camera. Um. <clears throat> Lie to me because girl's camera. Nowhere to be found last night was the murderer. Came to the swamp in the first place. It was so useless. Didn't he? Did he? The cameraman is the murderer. He was hidden from view. I mean, I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah. A sense of dread was uh, told me that. Uh, I don't want to say it was the murderer. Something I should ask the cameraman. Don't we want to see what's on the camera, right? Doesn't explain why. Hmm. Sense of dread. Told me that. Girl's camera. What's the murder? The camera was the murderer. I need to ask the cameraman. Hmm. My clues told me that. My bro was nowhere to be found last night. Well, it wasn't my clues. It was this guy. But is this something I should ask the cameraman? I guess so. Vincent Van Der told me that Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Uh, I had to do a mini game for that? What was Mr. Burl doing last night that meant he couldn't help out his boss? Alright, um... I don't know if it's any use to you at all. I'll film again tonight and try to get a version without all those... Bizarre oh, that's useful. Noises in the background. It's awful. Okay. 
We'll stop for now. Talking to this guy. Oh, here we go. Here's the footage. <laughs> okay. Last night, the exact time of the murder, filmed by Vincent Van de Pere in the clearing on the west side of the swamp near the crime scene. There's nothing to see but various clues that can be heard on the audio track. Listen to them in order. A gunshot. What's the clang? A door? But you'd think the creaking happens first, which me leads me to believe that this is the first sound heard. So I guess. I guess the creek could have been walking up to the door and then entering the door and then the guy saw him so he outcried and then there's the blast. Wait, which one goes first? This one, right? To this one, to this one, to this one. I don't know, it doesn't sound like a door to me. Somebody was already inside. Then he sees him. Outcry. Some sort of hit, maybe? And then that sounds like the guy hitting his head or somebody hitting their head on something. Or maybe they hit their foot. They hit their toe in the corner of a table. And they outcry and then they tripped. Because there's footsteps. And then the curtain ripped. And then the body falling on the deck. I'm not sure where the clang is. Maybe it's the door closing after the person seeing that the guy fell to his death. Nice. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. I heard from Mr. Vandepure over there that you were nowhere to be found last night. Hmm. Didn't I say I was at the cafe? Yeah, you did. But your director needed you for some filming, and he couldn't find you. What were you doing that was so important? Well, let's see. After I ate, I had to walk around the swamp. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my camera, so I was free to stretch my legs for once. Where was your camera? Don't you carry it around with you all the time? No, not all the time. You left it with Vanderpeer and used it instead? You left it with Vanderpeer. Sorry, I'm almost that. done with my seaweed. That's right, he was looking after that camera. So I went for a late night stroll. This place is beautiful in the evenings. He just walked around? You didn't do anything? Didn't see anyone? Well, I can't say that. I oh. have various ways to pass the time, you know. What does he do? What is his hobby? Vanderpeer said you had a hobby on the side. Is Look at a bee. Said? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, he's right. I brought two cameras with me when I came here. I left my video camera, yes. Uh -huh. I another one. It's much smaller, and it only takes black and white photographs. Oh. You know the kind I mean. A really like a film? film? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. I've always enjoyed traditional photography, and this place is a wonderful opportunity to take some pictures of a natural environment. So, you were having mm. some time off to take black and white photographs? It was for fun. Only one photograph. You have to be disciplined when you're not using a digital camera. Mm -hmm. Can I see it? Hey, I want to see. What does it look like? I took it near the woods at the back of the swamp. It's quite an interesting shot, but the light qualities weren't perfect. Yeah, it seems are. really hard to get. To take a look. Wait. Good what? picture in the dark. This is a photo. Mm hmm. I haven't developed it yet. Oh. I only took it last night. 
Just brush the developing fluid over the photo to reveal the image. Oh, I get to do it? Oh, sweet. Oh, look at that boy! <laughs> what? Is that... is that Boggy? The, the swamp creature is just standing in the water? It could be. Personally, I'm not convinced, but I'll let you decide for yourself. How did he capture that? Dang! Question mark, question mark, question mark! <laughs> mm -hmm. It does look like he has long legs. I don't see any of those flippers. work I see I'm glad he knows how to use the camera at least what do you think all those noises are well judging by the time <laughs> this is recorded I'd be able to make a pretty good guess <laughs> the famous director and my friend okay this has been pretty eventful Right, so the last time we went to the left, maybe this time we'll go to the right? Or should I? Maybe I should talk to that guy one more time. Just to make sure. Oh. He's a talented man, that Burl. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if he'd be better off pursuing his photography full time, you know? Okay. Just making sure. Museum! It looks rickety. <laughs> it looks super slanted. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Mmm. It's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum and into the woods. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. That museum is quite a nice building. It's not. Which makes it look even more out of place in a swamp. Is it being held up in the woods? It's bizarre. All right, I guess we're going in. The door's jammed unless I can get these brass panels oh. out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around just until the gap in the middle is clear. That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Easy. Hey, who's that? So, let me guess, you don't work here. <laughs> I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. <laughs> I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? It's a coat! My stylish trench coat, my sensitive, inquisitive manner. It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking uh, about? Yeah, that's the one. What? That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. Folder? What are you doing? I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. I'm writing in my diary. It's been a long day. I'm writing <laughs> bad things about you in my notebook. <laughs> Does it matter what, what you say? So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here... I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> well, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, oh. kind of secrets? It's just a museum Science about stuff. Body, right? The swamp creature. <laughs> One of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. Cryptozoology. A combination of scientific mm. fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, people have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. Oh, this is I our source of info. Anyone else you might have met so far. Now we need to so find out what kind of feet Boggy has. I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. It didn't look sure like he had feet in the picture. Reading. Let me find it for you. Oh yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners at least. Information about Boggy collected by Agent Folder. <laughs> White Agent. Boggy Swamp became a protected area after reports of hunting in the area. 
Hagi's appearance has changed from the original sketches in which he has three claws on each arm. You guys hear that hum? I think it's in the audio track. I don't like it. Okay, sorry. Uh, appearance has changed from the original sketches in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern character has simple, pen like arms instead to make him less threatening. Oh. No footsteps were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. I see. So he does have three claws. Interesting. <coughs> so, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah. Uh, were you here yeah. yesterday? What were you doing <laughs> last night? I was here in the museum, going through my files one final time. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. Is there a hotel around here people have been staying at? Schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. He, c he like committed a crime! He admitted to crime! He's locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. And if everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Yeah. And what are you gonna do? Report your <laughs> Good luck, my friend. He's dead! Damn, that's messed up. Uh... You probably would want to see this. Actually, this is a classic example of a cryptid photograph. Cryptid? What's a cryptid? A creature a unknown to science. Look at oh. the slight blurring in this photo. The, the murky exposure. It's perfect. It's perfect because it can't really be used as evidence? Now you're catching on. Because you can't tell if it's fake, it's, if it's fake or not because it's so blurry. Mm. This person is of no interest to me whatsoever. I don't like his mouth. The man was a fool. That's all you need to know. <gasps> Motives for murder? If I cared about that person, I would know everything I need to know already. This guy's obnoxious. Are you asking about the cartoon character? Because I have no interest in such childish matters. Mm. No, I think I'm asking about the actual creature. What's the difference anyway? Everything! Film footage? I don't think he wants to see that. Flippers! Guesswork. Nobody can know what Boggy's feet look like. It's his greatest secret. Oh. Huh. I need to unlock the challenge. I haven't asked the correct question, have I? I don't think he'd want to see the film footage. This file goes over some basic differences between the genuine creature and the cartoon character. He it's looks, it looks cute! Oh, no, not him. Foggy. Next time, only show me something if it's important. Hmm. Map? You're wasting your precious... Precious time! I've never seen that before, and I never... He doesn't want to see it. Okay, maybe it's one of these options. So, and you. I am a. I'm here to. So, you're for fun. But I can. Ah, it's the swamp. Please, a fast. I'm. Did I know. miss an option? Oh, I. My knowledge. So. I suppose if you're. Ah. Oh, so. <sighs> Yeah, I need more clues first. Okay. Hmm. I better take a look at this. Cutscene. Maybe because I didn't have this. Oh, look at him! This journal. Huh. It's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the all entire museum. All about Boggy. Journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer who first visited the swamp. The only record of Boggy existing contains notes and sketches of the appearance of the swamp creature. Buggy is shown with three small claws on each arm. Buggy's feet are always hidden in the water. There seems to be a page ripped from the back. <laughs> Cute! 
there's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. Models of Boggy's Claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem Oh, like. something's misplaced? I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. They look like pickles. I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. Oh. It looks like someone tried to hide them here. Oh? Oh! Slippers, they're not part of the museum exhibit, that's for sure. Let's see here. Huh? This journal belonged to the explorer. Who first discovered Boggy in this swamp 60 years ago. Leave Boggy alone! Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorer 60 years ago. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. <laughs> it's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. Ah, uh, the original Boggy's way cuter. Hmm. Apparently, the museum was founded by the explorer many years it's ago. It's such a small museum. In a different location. Oh. It's only recently been moved here to be part of the truest attraction. Oh. Can explain why it looks so out of place? They moved the whole building? Some educational facts about swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Alright, let's so, try again. The real swamp creature had claws. Three on each hand, to be precise. But why does the costume just have these pathetic fins instead? Oh, somebody didn't know! So, Oops, I clicked the wrong thing, sorry. I didn't mean to click it. Like, there's a... Okay, I can just press back. An important piece of the puzzle! This journal is a key to unlocking the history of this place. Hmm... I have no interest in All right. Well, I guess we could come back after we find something things cool. Things in jars. Who? I don't like things in jars. Unless the thing is marmalade. These are skulls? Oh, they're just models. Creepy models. They're not real. Books about Boggy and other mysterious creatures. I'll read them some other time. This is a really cramped area. Yeah. <laughs> just one room? Not worth the admission price. This is a really not. All right. Uh, I guess that's everything for now. We can always come back. Excuse me. This staircase is a tree. Ooh, a tree house. This tree is a staircase, and this place is so weird. The water's clear here. I can see my reflection in it. Not bad. Solved. Hmm. Solved. Hmm. Challenge. Those are unlocking challenge topics. Talk to everyone, examine everything, present clues and profiles. Oh. This staircase and this. Alright, let us continue upwards! Woo! This looks cool. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. Is it like a witch or something? It feels like I've stepped into nighttime. What happened to the sun? The trees blocked the sun. Like I wouldn't be using this old rope bridge if I had a choice. I've seen the movies. I know what happens. Yeah, that's scary. The latch is broken on the store. Seems I can fix it with those three pounds if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. I see.
Walk straight into my house, did you? Whoa, she's like a skeleton or something? Not exactly, to climb up here? Not exactly. I had to climb up here first. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. We're gonna get cursed! But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Oh, Do you get sense. any attention up here? Most of the time, people <laughs> like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. <laughs> well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. Oh. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, <laughs> and I think I might agree with you. <laughs> Alright, well, we can still ask. Oops, sorry. That hit the microphone thingy. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. Oh. And I have absolutely nothing Maybe to she's do with him. Like a, his little having an affair with Boggy or You're something. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What? Oh, oops. I've been here longer than anyone. Even Boggy? Longer than. Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. 60 years, something like that. Oh. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. Ah. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? Chemistry? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you We're bring an object that has liquid on it or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Oh, nice! Wow. How do you do that? Chemistry. It's really useful. Green and red species only go around the side door of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. Sorry, I keep hitting something weird. Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron, then tap the faucet. Oh. And now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. Oh. Got it! Oh. Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Berry and flower? What does that mean? Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, that's it. Brain tapped out. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. <laughs> Sweet, okay. Present another clue, maybe. How about the photo? You can put that away. I can't help you with it. She doesn't want to see it? Her beloved Boggy? Well then, we're gonna present a profile first of Boggy. I'm not even sure who that is. What? It, what? Your job is to ask me about- Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Um. I have nothing good to say about that man. So I won't say anything at all. Possible motive for murder? No, probably not. There are samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> How about the journal? This is a 60-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. 
I know what it is. I thought you might. She said she didn't know who Boggy was. Uh. <sighs> if you bring me something. All right. I guess that's it. That's all we get for now. Check out that sunlight beaming through the window. <laughs> it's so bright I should have bought my sunglasses. Yeah, it's a little suspicious. The tree comes straight through the middle of the house. It even has little drawers carved into it. Okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. That is cool. A little blanket on a little bed in a little house. It makes very little sense. Ace file note updated. This woman seems to live alone. I see I haven't got gathered all the clues here yet. There's a book on the table. I think it's a book about flowers. How oh, fascinating. I must take some time to read it. That, that's her bed. Must be her bed. I'm indoors. I'm in. The owner of this house seems to enjoy reading, though I'm not sure what else there is to do up here, actually. This is like an oven? It's to keep it the house good? warm! Uh, it's so old fashioned, it hurts my brain. Check out that. I'm missing a clue! I'm indoors. There's a book on the top. The tree it even. Okay. Where is it? Missing one. Maybe the yarn. I already clicked on that, I think. Well, I want to check. Oh, I missed one back there. Missed one in the museum. Oh, used for a protest. For what? Must have missed that. Uh, okay, the yarn. There's a whole load of needles. Oh, yeah, you're right. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. I thought I clicked on that one. I must have clicked, like, right here or something. Alright, sweet, we got all of them. Wait, is there anything else that we can ask her? <laughs> Any more clues? Why is there a question mark on this one? Map? I don't think she wants to see that. Or film footage. You should ask. Oh, I heard she wasn't so keen on visitors, though. Okay. Alright, we'll be back. We'll be back! Film footage? Always try? Okay, I'll try. Show it to someone who does it. I'm... You can put that... No, thank you. If you bring Okay, that's everything. Alright, back we go. Oh, you can keep going? Hold on, I missed something here. This staircase and this the rock path. The rock the water's I can see my ref It's like a little This staircase and this What's this? It looks like this stuff in the has been moved around recently. Maybe if I reposition them, I'll find a clue. Oh, uh -huh. I missed the minigame! It's a fossil, it's a fossil! What is this? What am I doing? Oh, I see. Uh, this doesn't line up. What the heck? Oh, there it goes. Am I missing a piece? Is that my way? What do you mean? Oh, it's the leaf. I didn't see that. What the heck? 
How did this line up? My brain. Alright, we're looking for the thick one. You can't rotate it. There's two. Oh, that makes sense. Uh -huh. The heck? I see it. It also plays in with the dirt. Must be that one. I recognize that footprint. It's the same as the one found at the crime scene. Oh. All right. Now this let's go back up. And this this oh, and this place. Now we'll present this to her. Someone, well. <laughs> no clue? Hmm. <laughs> A trash can. And I just can't resist taking <laughs> you a look gotta look inside. for discarded evidence. The glamorous life of a detective. My favorite part of the job. Maybe there's something underneath the trash in here. Orange juice, orange juice, orange soda, grape soda. I don't know what that is. Coca Cola, Pepsi, Pepsi, soda, apple, apple, napkin, coke. Oh! Hello, what's this? Or something oh. more sinister. I clicked by accident. I had to cough. <laughs> costume design. These look like designs for a boggy costume. Oh. Are we really talking about a swamp creature here? Smells like. Uh. Back in my photo I brought with me spruce and some creature I found in the trash. I found in the trash. And my office is hidden inside.
The costume design I found in the trash I don't think that's right. explains what Burl's black and white photo ever existed. Dang! Oh, that's it's nearly right. There we go. I found what was that? the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. Oh, that black and white photograph. I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here. And yeah, I think that arm says. I found the trash can might be. Doesn't the have the three fingers. I'll ask to... around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh. If I can find that, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. Yeah, like strands of hair. Chapter two. The deadly disguise. <laughs> I have something for you. Another gift already. Where are you keeping all this stuff? You don't even have pockets in that dress. <laughs> I don't need a pocket to carry a key. Who is this key? lady? Mm, I don't know. Girl. You could try it on any door you like. Although, oh? I recommend you try it on the key? store. Remington's office? Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, the cafe. <laughs> oh yes, I heard cool. sending somebody over. So you more at your service. Well, you're a suspect too. <laughs> of course, of course. Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. Uh -huh. But I think you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. Huh? What's so challenging about an old swamp? The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. Mm -hmm. For better or for worse. <laughs> My advice to Sounds like Dracula, yeah. Look to the past. It could be the way forward. I'm supposed to look to the past, right? Uh... Was living in the swamp when the swamp no, my, my was discovered streak? by the explorer 20 years ago. Look to the past. Killed the swamp, swamp creature. Founded Boggy's Bog when. Boggy? Became a famous cartoon character. Richard Remington founded Boggy's Bog when Boggy became a famous cartoon character. I don't get it. Seriously, I'm starting to piece together the history of this place. Uh -huh. Richard Remington built Is that the right? museum because the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. What is that supposed to mean? Mm. Lady Weybridge. Ah, I was right. I picked the, the wrong one. The swamp creature was discovered by the explorer sixty years ago. Ah, Lady Weybridge. I Weybridge. picked twenty by accident. Was here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer. Sweet. The tables and chairs are made out of parts of a ship. Oh. I think. Never really learned much about ships. A shipwreck? In a swamp? Does that make any sense? And why is there a cafe growing up the <laughs> time? Let's see. I want to check how many thingies there are to get here. How come I can't click on it? Oh, I fast traveled. I just wanted to get the notes for it. There we go. Missing one. This trash can looks a little sus. Brass tree. Brass tree. Water, water everywhere. Seriously, I'm not drinking that. There's a wooden path built right into the shipwreck. The rope bridge leads up through those trees. Do they expect tourists to climb up there? 
There's a wooden the rope bridge leads to the expect tra a shipwreck and what am I missing? A Menu? Shipwreck and Trash? Brass. Missing something. Predictably the glamour. There's a little locked door. I think it's part of the cafe. Sweet. Okay, let's go up. We'll go up. Oh, I see. Someone, please. Well. <laughs> I found these designs for a boggy costume. Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft. Yes. Uh huh. Clothes? That's why. No, but that's a good reason. Let's oh. go with that. <laughs> these designs look like they should have stayed where they were. In the trash. On paper. <laughs> oh, uh, how come? Whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing. Uh. You would have done it differently. Of course. I am a seamstress. There was a time when I considered sewing my crown. Oh! Really? When Richard Remington arrived in the swamp years ago, I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't oh? think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. Oh, maybe it was cursed. We got the challenge. Hold on. We did this one already, but I guess we could do it again. You can put. Okay. Just making sure. How about this guy? You should ask some. Just making sure. All right. Challenge time. I've been looking into the history of this place. Oh really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. Oh. You must be confused. You found me today when you barged into my house. Remember? She's trying to intimidate me. You're the original founder. What? You're living in the swamp? Yes. You were already living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You huh? already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What else do you need? Huh? Did you tell me if the journal's fake? I think you wrote something in the journal yourself. There's a page missing. Yeah. Where's the page? There's a page missing from the journal. Why, I don't know why she would have it, but apparently she would. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're uh -huh. suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what? That I stole it? I have no idea. If I can see it, I might be able to make up my mind. You stole it from him before he left the swamp. You took it from the journal while it was on display. I really have no idea. <laughs> if I could <laughs> I see don't it, know. I might be able to make up my mind. It doesn't belong in a museum. It belongs here with me. Was it a love letter? What if I promise I'll return it after I finish clearing up this mess? Then I'll show it to you. Aww. Is this you? He drew you into his journal? It's beautiful. That's cute. 60 years ago. Yes. He left the page with me. We agreed the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. Oh. A love story. Ah. What's this? The foot. The feet. They have two claws. Footprints. Last page ripped out of the Explorer's Journal given to the Waybridge by the Explorer 60 years ago. Features drawing a lady with Richard 20 years old. It also features drawing a buggy suite and footprint. It has two toes in the front and one in the back. This page proves the footprint found outside the office were not made by the real buggy. They were trying to frame him. The innocent buggy. Buggy the froggy. Being framed for murder. Cool. He drew me into his journal. I was 20 years old. That's the end of the story. I bet it's not. Does the explorer have a name? Yes. Oh. Are you going to tell me? No. Dang it! Alright. I guess that's everything.
I wanted to hear more details. What the heck? Hey, you! <laughs> uh -huh. Scram! The great detective returns. Did you? Oh, you can stay. Never mind. Ideas? What? Need a little push in the right direction? No. Yeah. I'm getting a new idea. It involves ignoring you. <laughs> like it or not, I'm here to help you. I get it. Is she related to that other lady? Maybe, yeah, maybe it's her daughter. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. My quality. Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned, and I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you mean? I had a hard time believing there could be a place like this here in a dark corner of a swamp. It didn't make sense. No, I, can't, I don't know if the explorer would be her dad because she seems too young. Straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? The mud? The water? The trees? Water. Nope. They've been here for years and they're not to blame. They belong here. Huh. She's gone again. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Just some little snot-nosed kid. Best to ignore. She's not a detective. She doesn't know what she's doing. Which makes it look even more out of place in a swamp. Is it being... Into the museum to ask more questions. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Oh, some ridiculous new merchandise for tourists to waste their money on. Ah. No. I believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Remington. If they were trying to scare him out of the swamp, they should have spent more time making an accurate design. What do you mean? Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. It simply hasn't been researched properly. What's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. Nobody but I do! <laughs> so tell me, Special Agent Folder. How would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to... It's just that but there's no way anyone would believe nothing but foolishness. Uh, I don't even want to show this guy the... Your mic is making weird noises. Really? I was acting weird today. I told you guys. Let me try something. Oops, I opened Photoshop by accident. Oh, go away! Test, test. Okay, is this better? It should be better now. One second. Okay, testing, testing. Test, testing. Okay, maybe it's in the game. Oh, yes, the bzz is in the game. Yes. Uh, how about the missing is page? That the missing page of the journal? I think so. It's an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. No. Yeah, you're not wearing the right hat to be saying that. It's mine. Well, this or it's not mine, but I'm protecting it. I've never seen that before, and I never. <laughs> Next time. This person is of no interest. All right, just checking, just checking. I want to unlock the thingy. I guess I have to unlock this one first. Back we go. Oh wait, did I miss something in here? Some educate. Did you know? Some magic, did you? Apparently, uh, hmm, in a it's only recently that what did I miss? Hmm. There's something the door, I did click on it. There's a little door in the wall. Books about yeah. this is a I want to get all the clues. <laughs> See, I'm missing one. Oh, try the key? There's a little... I don't know how. No, they, she said that the, the key goes to the... 
office. But maybe that is the thing. Maybe um maybe from the outside. I don't think it's a window, but it's hacked. This side of the museum is around. Huh. Check the poster. I don't think I can just take his log pick. I already did this one. Oh. Boggy playing the piano. He's having a grand old time. I didn't know you it could click on it. Another story from Boggy's Oh. Book. But actually, I think this is from the very first episode. It's a poster from the old Boggy cart. Copyright. That would be 19, 1930. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. Based off the numerals. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's everything. Yes. Maybe we should go back to the crime scene. Oh, there's the other way. Oh, but this one. We didn't see this guy. Ah, you've arrived at a bad time, my friend. Look at his once, beard. They don't actually want tourists walking around this place. I always arrive at a bad time. It's what I do. Oh, oops. My apologies. Detective, not a tourist. You have the same wide-eyed expression as the kids that come here. <laughs> running around, spending their parents' money, you know. Mm. Uh? You know, it's not every day I visit a swamp full of such <laughs> unique specimens. <laughs> it's no problem. <laughs> You're just thinking what we all thought when we arrived for the first... <laughs> oh, sorry, I knocked over something. Bathroom. No, you're thinking, this place is beautiful. What a lucky man I am to be here. Mm. I am, am I? Well, mm -hmm. if you say This guy so. seems like he Edward can read me like open book. At your service. That's a pretty cool name. Can I call you Ed? You uh. don't need to. Everyone just calls me Echo. Ooh, cool name. Why? Because it gives you an elevated sense of purpose? What? What? No. <laughs> because I always come back. Ah. I again until my job is done. You're protesting, right? I certainly am. Stop swamping the swamp. I'm getting you involved. What does that mean? Yeah, I haven't got time to hold up signs for you. I'm sorry. You simply have to hear my message and take it with you. Oh. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Plus, I have a little notebook. What was the first thing you felt when you saw the sign for Boggy's Bog looming over you? Well, I thought it was... I thought... felt. I uh, felt... well... What did you guys something feel? Something wrong. There wouldn't be a tourist attraction in the middle of a swamp like this. There shouldn't be. <laughs> My job is done. Clearly your brain is working perfectly, detective. Uh. So you're against the tourist attraction? Yeah, let's see. You'd rather this area was kept as a natural habitat, right? Right again. Uh -huh. And that precise word, habitat. A giant aquarium for buggy. For animal rights. Well, okay, I'm following you, but it's not like they're cutting down trees or anything like that, right? Yeah. All animals <laughs> deserve the right to live in peace, and I promise you, on a normal day, this place is far from peaceful. Are you talking about the swamp creature? About Boggy? A creature like that. He's earned the right to be left alone. We're fools to invite ourselves. But we don't even know if he's real, right? On a daily basis, assuming he's not going to mind. Assuming he'll keep to himself and let us walk around with his face on our t shirts. Well, I agree. I think he should be left alone. But like you said, he can probably handle himself. And if no one has even seen him in sixty years, I don't really see the problem. Yeah, he's probably not even here anymore. I never had an academic calling in life. I was never even a talented artist or musician or anything. So instead, I made the decision to stand up for those who were getting a raw deal. You come here. Every Where day. were you yes, last night at 8:45 well, p.m.? About one of those days. What were you doing yesterday evening? I was here at my protest spot until fairly late. Then I went to get something to eat at Harper's Cafe before I wait. You ate at the cafe here? Doesn't supporting the tourist attraction like that kind of <laughs> go against your protest? What else is supposed to eat? eat? Doesn't he? 
I don't think the meager contributions of one person are going to keep this place afloat. It does. Especially now. And you're sleeping here? Doesn't it get cold at night? Well, I came prepared, of course. I usually find myself with one or two extra layers to wear. Most of this bulk is padding, I promise you. I'm sure it is. So, you stayed <laughs> here the whole night? That's right. And I admit I may have heard some stranger than usual sounds floating around the swamp last night. What stranger than usual? It's impossible to say. This place fills with the most terrifying sounds at night. Hundreds of animals, some tiny, some much larger, Does Buggy make sounds? and make their own protests. Every uh, night until the sun uh, rises uh, in the morning. Uh, Insects make noises at night. Okay, I've written it down. What can you tell me about these designs for a costume? A Boggy costume? It's Boggy! I must admit, I've been a fan of his before I ever came to the swamp. A what? So you're interested that was a very in quick zoology? Response. Oh, no, I meant, well, Boggy has been in all kinds of cartoons and comic strips. He's one of the greatest characters of the last 100 years. Mm -hmm. I got some comics in my tent. You really should see. But he was only discovered 60 years ago. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I bound it up. But what about his costume? Have you seen anyone wearing it? I can honestly say I've never seen anyone wearing anything like that. Suspicious! And I'm a very observant person. He's kind of suspicious. No thanks, my friend. Gotta try everything. I'm afraid I haven't. Show it to somebody. Show it to somebody who cares. No thanks. I'm afraid. I he doesn't care about anything. Show it. We gotta no try thanks, all of our friend. options, even though I don't think they'll work. You I'm never know. The one that man left here 60 years ago? You seem a little unsure of the details. Shouldn't you have read up on all this stuff? <laughs> Forgive me. It's hard for me to get the image of Boggy as the lovable cartoon character out of my mind. He's just so iconic. Did you know, in 1973, he... But you're protesting to protect the real Swamp <laughs> The cartoon character is just some commercial byproduct, right? Yes, yes, of course. Course. He's just a big fan. Maybe he's the explorer. No. Show it to somebody. See, if he cared, if he was, he would be like, "Oh." No thanks, my. A man who has sacrificed luxuries to protect those who need protecting. Pretty good beard too. But I said. Boggy is my prime suspect, you know. The creature you're trying to... protect. Protect is the wrong word. If your suspicions were correct, we could both agree he's a creature that doesn't need protecting. You think he might be the murderer? I think he's a wild animal. And he wants oh. to be left alone at any cost. Oh. You're asking the wrong... Gotta try all the options, exhaust all the options... Oh, here we go. Since last night, yeah. But he was the owner of Boggy's Bog. Did you know him? Not personally. To be honest, I'm quite glad about it. Oh. Ah, yes. Agent Well, they know each other. A good man. Uh -huh. You know him? Mm, we get on rather well. And we shared a number of views on the way things were run around here. Uh -huh. Motive for murder? Oops. He seems like a good person. He even sympathizes with my cause. He agrees with your protest? But he yeah. works here, right? And he was friends with Remington. I think that was the only reason he worked here. Maybe he'll see the light now and leave the swamp behind him. Maybe everyone will. I can see that being the outcome. You're wasting your time with that one. I have nothing to say about them. All right. I feel like we have exhausted all of our options. A rather. Well, then I had a note here that didn't get complete. Look, protest. A rather.
but from a tree stump blooming it's hard looks like this path I looks like I looks like the I looks like I a rather it, ah. no. there's stuff that I haven't like highlighted I, here a rather prominent it's a rather it's tent I tried clicking on I'm it I'm impressed someone might oh. put your tent here and I'm impressed someone would want to I clicked on that before what the heck it was before it's the guy was there, to be fair. Themed padlock. He's That's cute! Staring into my soul. I want one! Uh, it should open if I set the right number. I think we need to look for a clue. It's ah, Echo's tent. I got it, I got it. 1937. It's the year of the... It's Echo's okay, tent. it was 1934. I think he's been here for a while. I was close. <laughs> it's a journal. I guess it belongs to Echo. Bad news. Remington is dead. I don't know what to do. Was my whole protest in vain? They'll shut this place down, sure, but I'll never know if I got through to it. Oh. Hmm. That's all he's written. Oh, he's cleared. Sweet. Still missing one thing. It's the mushroom. Mushroom. I'm impressed, and I. I'm you eat something at the I... tent. There. It's Echo's tent. It's Echo. It's Echo. What else? Can I click on? A rather. It. A rather. It. Looks like I. Are these. Got it. That was like some one of the first ones I should have got. Okay, back to the crime scene. Even though I have the key, this might not be as simple as I'd hoped. This door has two keyholes. Oh, puzzle. So, which key should I use in each one? Spooky. So much stuff to look at. Remington's desk is covered in drawings and maps and notes. It's all about Boggy. Uh, he was obsessed. An ink bottle spilled onto his work. I'm sure he. Ah, uh, that was one that of the purpose. sounds that we heard. Yeesh, it's a bit of a mess. Perhaps there's something underneath those drawings. It's a note addressed to Richard Remington. The handwriting is immaculate. Richard, our man of the world. A little help is in order. <gasps> We're worried creepy. that the efforts okay. regarding our elusive little friend might be in vain. Send word when you can. The letter is signed FF. FF. And attached is a blurry little picture. It's some kind of metallic insect. Oh. The whole thing is a mystery. I have no idea. It's a letter before... My dear fellow, I received your note two weeks ago, but I've only recently found the time to do the appropriate research on the matter. I feel like my time in this awful swamp might finally come to uh? a close. All due to the simple realization, hmm, the rest is obscured. What a tease. Ooh. Vincent Van Der Peer's business card. There's a couple of numbers scribbled on the back. Vincent It's a uh, the hand Richard, our man of the world. We're worried that the efforts regarding our elusive little send word when you the letter is signed and it's some kind of the whole thing is a mystery. Yeah, who could that be? Let's check our notes. Echo, Harper, and appear, Bobby Burrow, Lady Whitebridge, Burlington Funny Holding. Yeah, this guy so, is the only guy that has Maybe he's Oh, maybe he's part of like a secret organization. Oh, secret sector researching abnormal creatures. 
Ah, so this could have been the blast that went off? This isn't the kind of thing I can ignore. The open window looks over the wooden planks outside. Oh, and on one side, a part of the curtain has been ripped off. Hunting memorabilia. Claws, teeth. It would be an impressive collection if it wasn't so disturbing. It is weird. These animals. They're all... They're not... What? They're not real? I don't recognize any of them. Oh. Creepy. These animals. I don't... They're like a mix of different creatures. Photos and paintings line the wall above the fireplace. But one of the frames is empty. Wait a second. What are these pieces on the floor underneath it? Somebody stole it and ripped it up. This photo ripped, but it looks important. If I can piece it together again, maybe it will reveal a secret. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Oh. This photograph. It's a young Remington and some other men I don't know. They're all holding rifles. Maybe I can ask Hopper about it. Who is it? I don't recognize anybody. Except, I guess, the guy in the middle. That's the main guy. I see. Is the cafe guy also in there? I don't recognize him. Oh, he was trying... Was he trying to kill Boggy? I don't know oh. what's in that jar, and I wish it wasn't in there. I'm gonna stop looking at it now. This is the creepiest office I've ever been in. Ever. I probably shouldn't leave until I've searched a bit more thoroughly. This is the creep. More thoroughly. Remington's salt and niche. It's a bit perhaps. Let's take a look. We're missing one thing. Yes, he had a jar, but it looks like a... What is this called? A cloche? Cloche? How you pronounce it? I forget. <laughs> this is the creep. Some, there are signs of a struggle between the desk and the window. Yeah, chair knocked over, the gun. Box. There's trident! Oh my Poker. god, what are you doing with her? Hidden in the shadows. Something about those three prongs. I feel like I just stumbled across an incredibly important piece of evidence. Okay, it's not. It's something different. The fireplace poker. It's got goo on it. Have I uncovered a secret in here? Um. Ghost. The hunting photo <laughs> is historical evidence that Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. I'm secret getting a strong society. feeling that Remington Ooh. might be the bad guy in this story. Yeah. If he wasn't already dead, I would have loved to ask him a couple of questions. I should ask around, see if I can gather any information about his motives for being here. Motives is that he wanted a buggy trophy. Just just keep on his wall. That's why he had a whole tourist attraction set up here as a cover-up. Got everything here. Got everything here. Now let's fast travel to... Oh yeah, there's that place above the... Oh no, there's a place above the cafe, but that leads to the treehouse. I guess inside the cafe would be like the last place. To the treehouse. Hmm. Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid in the tap. And now, 
Is it the same thing? Oops, I put in the wrong. Wait, that's right. There. Got it. Now I know what. I'll write it down in my note. Huh? That looks pretty similar to last time. Hmm. What else? Oh. You've been here so long. You must have crossed paths with Remington a few times. What did you think of him? That man was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. Oh. Hopefully, the curtain will fall on his little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? In my time here, I've seen the swamp invaded by men. By hunters. Oh. Several times. They're relentless. What were they hunting? What do you Night. think, Boggy? Oh, Boggy. Is that why no one has seen him in 60 years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now, but some men have no respect for laws of any kind. They tried to get me to leave my home. I stood my ground. Obviously. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy's Bog with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction. They closed down the attraction, probably. Oh. Hmm. I recognize some of those men. Unfortunately, they've hunted in the swamp before. Before it became a protected area? Before that, yes. And one of them after that. Oh! I don't think she wants to see this, but we might as well try. You should ask some. Ask somebody who cares. Alright. Oh, wait! Wait, what? Hold on. Okay. Thought I saw something different. Alright, to the. Why am I missing stuff other than this little question mark? Oh, missing something at the crossroad. I want to get all of them! The crossroad! Hey, you! Scram! Hey again. Ready with some cryptic advice, no doubt? Don't let them take him. Who? The, the murderer? That's my job. I got to make sure that no, they... the creature. Oh. Don't take him away. This place is his home. Who's taking oh, him? Oh, Boggy. Uh, hey, don't worry. I didn't really believe he could be uh, responsible for this mess. You, you did it? Uh, well, no. Mainly because I didn't believe he existed yeah. at all. Doesn't exist. He's not real. He won't get in trouble. He won't have to leave. Well, he's been out here for, what, 60 years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long. I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in, in that case, he says... Thank you. Huh? That's it? Oh, yeah. There's a home. Note to self. Those trees are more. What did I miss here? It's a four. It's a. F it's a. F it's. Sorry. Those. Those. Was that what I missed? I tried to click on the eyes before. There's a hope. It doesn't do anything. There's a. It's the. Was this oh. entire place built around it? Around this big thingy, what is it's it? It's the base of a gigantic tree, and it's sitting in the very heart of the swamp. Was this entire place built around it? Got it. Okay. Yeah. Got everything there. Got everything there. Got everything there. Got everything there. All right, to the cafe! Mm. 
But yeah, we didn't talk to this guy. So, you sit in this boat all day and sell food to people? To tourists, I guess? Not just the tourists, but the employees too. To anyone who is uh -huh. in the or thirsty. I wonder what I wanna I see the menu. The is it foggy themed food? I wanna see. Oh, and is this a real shipwreck? How did it get here? I can't expose all the secrets of the swamp. I don't want to spoil your fun. Is there a secret to this shipwreck? No. You just spoiled my fun. <laughs> You'll find out there are some secrets worth keeping when you've worked here as long as I have. Oh. Well, That's how precious. long is that? I've worked in the swamp almost as long as Mr. Remington. We knew each other for a long time. Oh. Really? So what was his favorite food? Mr. Remington enjoyed a specialty only I can make. Personal the chef. Dog. Oh. I one nearly every day. A real creature of habit, that one. Oh, yeah, that's not good for like you. It's similar. Maybe he had a heart attack or I'm something. I have to disappoint you. I'm not serving them today. Why not? Yesterday I found this strange green powder in my entire supply. Huh. Guess I'm out of luck today. Well, thanks for the information. Green powder. A real big help. Wait, wait. It yeah, but that does sound good. If you get thirsty. It's the most popular drink in Boogie's Bog. Ooh, I am thirsty, actually. Swamp juice. Oh, cute. Try it. it looks like... It looks... Uh... Well, I'll try some. <laughs> later on. You're in luck. Mmm, swamp it's juice. A lot of swamp juice has been disappearing from my stock recently. That's what all that I stuff is. I can only I must have been selling them all. Did something strange happen at the cafe yesterday? Oh, right, because, uh... Um... After... Richard Remington left right, the there was a powder the that after he was Harper poisoned. Sold him a bog dog. Harper is basically in charge of all the food and drink here in Boggy's Bog. I'll have to ask him about this. You're going to ask me about what I was doing last night. I was going to. Were you going to tell me anything? I was working here at the cafe in the evening. I had a couple customers. Oh. Eventually, they all left, and I looked up and went home. Do you lock away Where does he everything live? at night? Not everything. Just the storeroom over there. You mean that little door yeah. on the side of the ship? Is there anything else to lock? I leave the chairs, you know who has a lock that can get, get in there? <clears throat> Lifting things like that is not a job for an old man. Don't you have anyone to help you? Mr. Remington liked to keep us down to his skeleton step. <laughs> there simply aren't many people who would choose to work in a place like this. A skeleton staff? Well, that's convenient for him since. Don't make that joke. I won't laugh. <laughs> Buggy costume. Someone made a costume to look like the creature. They must have known it would get a reaction for sure. But I wonder if they planned things to go this far. When you're finished theorizing, I was going to show you these sketches I found in the trash can right next to your cafe. Hmm. It does seem like someone was designing a costume. A disguise, perhaps. I don't know. Try to think why somebody would do such a thing. I don't know. You get a guy to leave. No. Not yet. You said you knew Remington? He and I knew each other for a long time. I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days mm. when he needed help. <laughs> well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here. So I was it does seem pretty oblige. sweet living in a sick you might ship. Like it, but I he lives there. I don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. He I wanted to hunt Spocky. I what they all were. Even though we were friends, he had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Oh. Secrets? Hobbies? A secret hobby? He was a man with a dream. I can tell you that much. A uh, picture. One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but 
These men travel the world seeking mysterious animals to hunt. Ah. They consider myths and legends no, to myths? be the ultimate prey. Uh, my, 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 does that mean I'm next? <laughs> I guess I didn't let that happen, right? Alright, how about the... Why don't you show that? Oh, I gotta exhaust all these options. You don't... Hey. Let's don't try. You don't. Hey. It's the most. In fact, a lot of it has Here disappeared the drink. from my stocks recently. That's right, the guys. The guys dead. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Why don't you? Sh He's dead, but he always knew what he was getting involved with. Ooh. You don't know everything, I'm afraid. I can't help you with... That's Mr. Remington's oh. old hunting rifle. He knows! He usually keeps it around. For whatever reason. He was very fond of that thing. Looks like it was fired recently. Ah! Uh -huh. Why don't... It was Mr. Remington's favorite food. That strange green powder isn't supposed to be there. Mm hmm. It's Mr. Remington's fireplace poker. How does he know? There's slime on the handle. It's oh, did I check the slime? For some reason. That one? Alright, now to present all the profiles and then we'll test the slime. Eats there a lot of things and putting less effort into his protest. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. You have a lot of suspects on that list. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to... I don't... We must check every single one! You have a lot of... I don't know what... You're... Well, technically... But I'm not even sure he's real. Don't worry about that. Real or not, the creature's the most important part of this mystery. Which one? The cartoon character or the real creature? Exactly. <coughs> he was a friend for many years. If you have any questions about him or his belongings, I may be able to help you. Alright, challenge unlocked. Let's do the challenge. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last Since night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? Oh, time to inspect the bog dog! A bog dog he ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. Uh -huh. A lockpick? I've never encountered a problem like this before. But since last night, am I in a position that to do that? guy? Somebody tried to poison him. Eat a bomb. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? Alright, that's everything. Okay, can we go in here? There's a little lot, I think. I guess we can't get in there yet. Right? That's inside the cafe. It must be. Because I don't see any other options to go up. Someone pleased. Well... Alright, I just want to test the liquid on the thingy. There's a book. Oh, <laughs> oh, I did already. Oh, we can do liquid on this. Let's see. First and ten. The same thing as before! Now, Marion Sunflower. 
What does it mean? Now I know what that liquid consists of. Oh. I'll write it down in my notes. Hmm. Is that the same as last time? This was the exact same liquid. Oh, so that juice was all over everything. That foldy guy obsessed with the juice, with the swamp juice, he likes it too much. Alright, to investigate the suspect, our main suspect, at the museum. So. I have no interest in something like that. No. Look at his face. He's definitely interested and he's trying to hide it. He's got an obsession. An addiction. You're wasting your... I've never... I have no interest... He's suspicious. So, you found it. Oh. I wonder who else knows about it. Oh. What? He looks very sus... Suspect. Suspicious. Oh, yes, I know him. He occasionally asks me about the history and biology of the swamp creature. I explained to him what the real Boggy looks like and how they changed his appearance for the cartoon character. What did he ask about that? Ah, uh, so because he was the one in the costume. Curious. You should give it a try sometime. What can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. No? Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Oh. Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. Ooh. What? This guy's so suspicious. The music stopped. We're missing somebody. We'll have to be back. There's a little door. We'll have to come back. What are we missing? We're missing some clues. We're missing one person. Yeah, we're missing the cafe, the thing in the cafe, but I don't know how to get in there. Gift shop! Oh, this is a gift shop! Hey. Hey. Um, sorry to interrupt. I can see that you're, uh, hard at work. You weren't here yesterday. Ooh! Did you miss me? Oh, no. Uh, I, well, I only just arrived. You're the detective. Right? <gasps> I'm a detective. So, that was your hat I saw blowing through here. Oh, mm, did she get it? Maybe she has it for too. me. If you're good at your job, you may have realized that it's kind of dead around here. So I generally notice magical floating detective hats. Uh, don't worry, uh, you're better without it. How do you know? Oh, I have a good imagination. Uh huh. I was suspicious. I didn't expect to see someone your age working in a place like this. But then again, I didn't expect there to be a place like this in a place like this. I only started working here this year anyway. It's temporary. Just running the gift shop to earn a little extra money. Uh -huh. Don't ask how I ended up here. I'll save that question for a different day. You what? don't seem at home here, exactly. I hate it. <laughs> this place is disgusting. Come on, you don't think it's kind of beautiful? <laughs> you would say that. You only just got here. You'll get sick of it. If I wasn't here, yeah. I'd be stuck in my office doing paperwork. At least at your office, you don't have to bring spare clothes every day. It's impossible to leave this place without being covered in dirt. Uh, Challenge accepted. This is muddy. That makes sense. When you have a Wait, moment what? free <laughs> from your busy schedule, I need to ask you about last night. I know, but it won't help. I worked here during the day, then left my gift shop and went home in the evening. Where Same do you live? Day. You just leave your gift shop here when you go? No, I put it in my pocket. Yeah, what? seriously though, as what? much as I appreciate sarcasm, I think I'd get in trouble if I wrote something like that down in my notes. 
Well, look. Trouble you with who? this gift shop has wheels, and you're thinking, oh, she's pretty lazy to leave it lying around. But if you want to try pushing this thing through the swamp, be my guest. Does she at least lock it, up? lock it up? Lock it up. Oh. So I just leave it here overnight. Oh. Nobody's ever stolen any of this lousy merchandise anyway. I even left my spare clothes here when I went home last night. Uh -huh. You left them here? By the gift shop? Yeah, it's no big deal. They were all still here this morning. Kind of. Kind of? I think someone played a stupid joke, and my spare black leggings were covered in some disgusting swamp slime when I found them in the bag this morning. If you're going to take my clothes, oh. them, just keep them. I don't want them back. You know what I mean? They wore it for the costume! Absolutely do. Got slime all over it. It's just the ju the swamp juice. I have a theory that the murderer was wearing a costume. A homemade outfit designed to look like the swamp creature. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. You've never seen me in that. I know it's not exactly the latest fashion, but... No, you'd never see me in that. It would cover me up entirely. That's... <laughs> that's the point of a disguise? Look, <laughs> when you have clothes like mine, you don't want to be wearing disguises. Is that why you always wear those black leggings? You've only just met me and you're making assumptions about what I always wear. And making assumptions is the fun part of being a detective. True! Well, no, you're right. I always wear these. Oh, she, she flirting with us? So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like preoccupied. Preoccupied? Uh -huh. Like he was thinking about something else? Something that wasn't this choice attraction? Who can say? What do old men think about? Mm. What? 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 I, are you implying that I know the answer to that? What? Alright, time to present some clues! Everything! Start from the beginning! Where are- Oh. Uh, okay, things that you would actually know about. Maybe, uh, she did look at this one, so... Better than that. Can you show me? There's no time. Maybe in the sequel. Oh? Oh? <laughs> Alright, uh, things that you might actually know. How about the swamp juice? Is that one of your clues? It's nice. I have no There's an E here, I guess. Where are- Is that- This was taken near the forest Ooh. in the back of the swamp, correct? Yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. The water is really clear back there. The legs of this thing are reflected in the bottom half of the photo. It's a nice shot, actually. Uh -huh. a reflection? Oh, yeah, of course. A reflection in the water. Oh. What? I have no... Where? Is that... Gotta try have... all the options. Just in Better case. Ooh, that's another that. thing. Where are you? Is that one of your? I have. Where are you keep? All right, all right. Just gotta try her. I don't know why she still works here. To be honest. What? Oh, one murder, one murder too many. Yeah. Yeah. I Sketchy. Have a good view of yeah, she does have a nice voice. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protest used to have a bit more energy though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. What's he doing in there? I Making a costume? Say. I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. Uh... Hmm. I guess, I mean... Echo spends less time to be the holding here. the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been doing that's more important than his protest. Mm hmm Challenge unlocked! Is that one of the other more suspicious- Is that your new- Sweet. I- Stretch Is animation! <laughs> Is that your- Sweet. I think the- Oh. What about the real creature? I've never met him. Me neither. Is he real or not? He made sure I always got paid. Yes. 
so I can't say anything bad about him. You can if you like. He won't hear you. You should have more respect for the dead. I know. <laughs> I know. Alright, no challenge it's unlocked a yet. Gift shop wagon. Let's take a look. Brightly colored boggy baseball caps. Is there something behind them? Ooh. What on earth? They hid it there! This they hid the costume! Thing doesn't seem to belong here at all. Inside the hair! What is it? Whose hair is it? <gasps> it's the curtain! It's some kind of roughly made costume head, I think. And there's a strange piece of red fabric stuffed inside. Two clues for the price of one, I guess. Easy. A boggy's bug mug. Bug mug! Maybe I'll get one and surprise Officer James for Christmas. <laughs> it's a map of the swamp. It's a framed drawing of Boggy. What a shame, it's not even signed. It's a photo. Oh. Boggy dolls, Boggy toys, Boggy postcards. Yeah, this stuff isn't half bad. Well, I wouldn't wear it. Maybe to sleep in. It looks you know, like a nice, comfy pajama t shirt. You guys have those? You just wear a t shirt? Is that everything? 100%! We're 100%! Hmm? Is that one of your clues? These hats look pretty stupid. I Luckily, think they're cute! They seem to like stupid stuff. You sell a lot of them? Yeah, they're pretty popular. Hmm. That is not something for my gift shop. Oh, oops. Alright, we don't have the challenge unlocked yet. To the... Treehouse. To scan these items. It even has... Okay. The... Oops. Oh, oops. There we go. Must check the tights. Let's see. First thing we do... Then we already know, but still, it's important to get it in the notes, you know? Gotta get empirical now, evidence. Got it! Now I, I'll write it down and what's going on. That was definitely the same as the other tests. There's something about that green slime. Slime! The slime! Huh? Magical powers? Sally's legs. <laughs> Lady Weybridge, there's proof that no, the black it. leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Uh. I'll figure it out. <laughs> My hairstyle is definitely it, right? Well, I was just gonna say, they're the only reason we know what the slime. Well, then I'll figure it out. Are in the same spot? This is the only one that seems to make sense. This is the last one. The fireplace broker is <laughs> proof that the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Uh, that slime keeps showing up in different places. The fireplace That's it? I thought we already came to that conclusion. It seems too easy. The leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. Challenge unlocked. Present clues just in case you can put... Just, just in case you know that... If you... Just in case you can put... We can't test the bog dog, I guess. I'm not even... 
All right, back. Let's go to the museum again. All right, he hasn't run away yet. This is just a piece of junk they sell to tourists. It has no resemblance to the real creature. I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. Mm hmm. I have no interest in. All right, let's go to the protest. Sniff. No, don't sniff the lighting. Stop. All right, to the protest. Hmm. Let's do items first. I'm afraid I have no idea. Show it to somebody. No thanks, my friend. Huh. Hmm. Oh. What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think he was some kind he of... He was a lot of things. Don't lose that picture. And show it to Mr. Harper before you leave. I think I already did. I'm afraid I... Yes, I already did. What? I have a suspicion oh. it may have been the murder weapon. Really? I thought Remington was attacked by something with claws, wasn't he? Hmm... Show it. Okay. No thing. Just checking. Challenge. I heard you've been spending less time protesting yeah, recently very and more time, uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask. I've touched people. Have even noticed something like that? I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Mm -hmm. Olive's not worth writing down. Uh -huh. Maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. Oh. <laughs> Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. What's he doing Let's in there? Let's out why echoes oh. in the tent. Notebook time. He's just writing in his diary, right? Taxes. <laughs> He's hiding. He's hiding from taxes. <laughs> He's scared of ghosts. Ah. Uh. He's doing his taxes. You've been hiding in your tent from the tax man. <laughs> Why not? Oh, sweet! That was it? <laughs> oh, there's an option I didn't talk to him about. So, what did Mr. Remington think of you? I, I knew it! In the middle of a swamp every day. It wasn't his swamp. If he ever truly thought it was, then he was even more of a fool than he seemed. But he didn't like you hanging around, right? Yeah. That man was exceptionally skilled at ignoring me. Huh. Ignoring anything he didn't like. So, what? He just left you alone? He expected me to get bored and go home. He figured I'd get sick of this place and he'd have it back to himself. But he didn't want it to himself, did he? He wanted lots of people to come visit all the time, surely. Hmm, I'm sure it says that in the brochure. Yes. Hmm. Okay, back to the gift shop. Hey. Challenge. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in the swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? Grimoire? Ooh. Uh. Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. A costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, ah. no. I don't have proof someone else took them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? <laughs> Besides, look at them. What do you notice? Stretched out! And they're loose and stretched. That's right, someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. Oh. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in their bog costume and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? 
Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Aww. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. Ooh! I got it for free! Free, 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 free! My toy! Woo, 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 woo. Oh. All right, what are we missing? We're missing one clue. Where could it be? Aha! Uh -huh. We need a challenge for that that guy. We gotta ask somebody about him, I think. Somebody else. Hmm? Hi! Oh, we have new stuff. I found these designs for a costume. A boggy costume. Aha, uh -huh, the legendary swamp creature. Yeah, that's the one. But these are just a child's drawings, are they not? You think? Hmm, perhaps. Oh. It's difficult to tell. Mm. You saw Remington last night, but had you met him before? Did you know him? I've never really spoken with him, but we've come into contact a few times. Vincent likes to handle that kind of work, and I like to let him. What do you think of this place? The tourist attraction, I mean. I can't say I like the idea of a natural area like this becoming commercialized. I know! Oh. I just can't understand why anyone would even try. I think Mr. Remington had his reasons. He looked like a man with a couple of secrets. Like what? I have no idea. If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. <laughs> yeah, okay. So far, I think what happened is that obviously this guy opened up this tourist attraction place to make a good reason for him to continue trying to hunt Boggy. Mm -hmm. And somebody didn't like the fact that he was trying to hunt Boggy, so they wiped him out. Mm -hmm. But for some reason... Maybe there were two people. There were two motives. Because they poisoned the food and then somebody dressed as Boggy and then pushed him out the window with the fire poker. <laughs> uh, shall we present some clues? What is it? Let's present everything mm -hmm. just in case. I'm sorry. What is Mm-hmm. That's oh, that's the food I saw Mr. Remington eating at the cafe last night. Before he got ill and rushed back to his office? That's right. This is going down to my notebook. It might be important. I'm sorry I have What is it? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yes, that's my photograph. Taken near the woods at the north end of Boggy's Bog. Have you tried looking there? Uh, north end of Boggy's Bog? Didn't we? I don't know. I think so. What is it? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. What is it? Let's check mm -hmm. everything, even though I don't think that it'll answer, but still. Alright, uh... A prolific... <laughs> With exceptional skills at carrying heavy equipment. That would be pretty draining. Cameras? Those types of cameras are really heavy, yeah. They have harnesses for people to hold them, like, and keep them steady. Uh... You should ask someone else. Try showing it to... I really don't have an opinion. You should ask... Try showing it to someone... This area is kind of... Uh-huh. No, not you, sorry. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about these designs for a boggy costume? Nothing whatsoever. You're sure you didn't mm -hmm. see anything like this while you were filming yesterday? Wait, hold on a minute. What if Don't you... Don't you dare ask. This costume isn't your doing, is it? Made for your movie, I mean? Oh. My friend, there will be no costumed idiots within the viewfinder of my camera. I can assure you that. And what about your boggy movie? Isn't that going to be, like, a guy in a costume or, or a puppet or, or one of those weird robot things? Animatronics! Technology has been 
kind to people like me. CGI, it's all CGI. Such tomfoolery. I can create a perfectly believable swamp creature within the confines of a computer. Much cheaper too. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't think it'd be much cheaper. <laughs> I suppose you've met maybe. without murder victims. Just pay the actor to... and then... Yes, I've been I, in and I out could, of this maybe. place for a while now. Naturally, I've crossed paths with Remington a number of times. Good value, that one. A real reconteur, you know. You liked him? So far, I'm getting the impression he wasn't the most popular guy around here. Well, that much is clear, isn't it? <laughs> the man obviously slipped up somewhere, made an enemy or two, <sighs> and bam, that's that. You just can't be too careful, can you? Yeah, I think he did have an enemy or two, or three. But you liked him. I respected him. Good head on his shoulders. Him. Good business sense, that man. He understood how to make things work for him. Hmm. All right, time to click all the options. You won't be. I don't. You won't. If you want. Just I gotta check, just gotta check, just in case. You won't if I <laughs> Alright, done. He doesn't care about any of it. I don't know if we should go around sharing our uh, you know, evidence with random people, but you know, why not? You want me to say I'm a busy man. I simply don't. I guess he doesn't know anybody else. You want me to? He's been working with me for a number of years. A real expert, of course. <sighs> the world's premier director. Uh -huh. The king of wit and whimsy. Mm -hmm. You met him. You're a lucky man. I'm a busy man. Reason we're all here, of course. Not me. Isn't he your prime suspect? Well, officially, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> what an amazing creature! No one has seen him for 60 years and he still manages to get accused of murder. Incredible! No, oh, Boggy's okay. Now there's a man who could handle himself. Oh, uh, not quite. <laughs> not so sure. Well, apart from yesterday, that was just a one-off, wasn't it? Ah, uh, for him, I think so, yes. <laughs> All right. This area is kind of empty. What are we missing now? Talking to somebody else? Oh, right, this guy. <clears> hmm. <throat> Missing one clue. Is it the lockpick? I don't think I've unlocked it. Well, let's go back and try to talk to him. Mm. Mm. Next time, only show me something if it's a... A good example of how Boggy's feet are never shown in any form. They often use that little uh. red bucket to hide them. Hmm, I guess there's nothing else. Oh. You're wasting your precious time, detective. Oh, it must be somewhere else. Maybe at the cafe? The tent? We were inside the tent. I'll check it again. I'm impressed somewhere and I It's a bad I don't know what to do. What's my they'll shut this place down. Hmm. I want to go inside that room. I think. Ah! Try and solve every suspect's challenge topic. I already gotcha. If you're. Don't forget. Oh. It. Mm. Now through everything again. Everything is 100% on the map. Not everybody's 100% here. Because he's missing the thingy. And I'm missing one clue. 
Is it something I forgot to pick up? Maybe it's something in the... Scene crime. The crime of the... the scene of the crime. Spooky. No. No way. No way. Is this... A... A werewolf? A werewolf. Remington sticks on an inclination. Perhaps... It's a... The rich... And it's some... Oh. There's a map of the swamp lying on the desk. It's been... Annotated. Uh -huh. In a few places. So glad. Is there something in the water that I missed? Maybe? It's a stepping soap. It's a stepping soap. Nah, I think it was. Fabric from Mr. Remington's curtains. Why don't you show that to someone? Else? You don't know everything, I'm afraid. I can't help you with it. Why don't you? Sh All right, yeah, maybe I have to just present something to somebody else. A shipwreck, and why is there? Hmm. Nothing to say about them. Oh. No thanks, my friend. I'm afraid I have no idea. Hmm. Walk through everything just in case. Hmm. No, thank you. Gotta make the rounds. Yes, we did check the trash can, by the way. Hey. I always thought it was weird that his feet are in that little bucket all the time. It's just part of the character, I guess. I'm surprised they don't sell some sort of boggy foot soaker. <laughs> and that would be the one oh, thing huh. I'd consider buying. Huh. There's a hollow. There's a hollow. Want to go inside the tree? Look. 
looks like I... What's this? There's a lockpick dropped oh! amongst the leaves down here in the water. I just have to work out which vine to break and tap that button. That's the one, but I wonder where this lockpick came from. Aha! Where could it be from? Now to the treehouse! The Let's last see. clue. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the... And now... Got it! Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. It's a berry sunflower swamp juice. It's all the same. It's the exact same liquid again. I need to pick my questions carefully. Ah, I see what they did there. Uh, what are the options? I was given by, I found inside, I found near. The lockpick I found near. Remington's body. Might belong to Mr. Harper, might belong to Agent Folder. The lockpick I found near Remington's body. It's the one! Might belong to Agent Folder. <laughs> as far as I know, Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. And I wonder if he's hiding something. Finally! Challenge unlocked. <clears throat> Here we go. Is this where we find our prime criminal? Main suspect. I have a bone to pick Criminal. with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? Where did I find this again? I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime. Yes, sir. Well, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? <laughs> you already admitted to owning one of them. Got these, it. And how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, Be you honest. messed up there, well, buddy. For me, detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick uh? before you even found it. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, you lost your lockpick in the swamp. Is this one, right? You lost your lockpick in the swamp that and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently, it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. It's probably yeah, haunted. It's an important piece of evidence. A curse. Something you found on the floor? Come back when I'm not so busy, all right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, well, now what? I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Got it. The end! The beginning of the end. All right. Ah. Ah, you finally returned. Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? I didn't find him. Mm. What? You're not getting I wish we found Boggy. I want to get an autograph. Get back out there. I don't need to. Boggy's criminal record. Why not? I thought he was our prime suspect. Mm, well, uh, not anymore. Didn't you find photographic evidence of Boggy from last night? Let me see that photo. If that's not Boggy, what is it? It's a costume! I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Mm -hmm. Well, nearly all What a them. sloppy it's criminal! That... But the footprints at the scene of the crime! How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? It's in the missing page! I thought there were no records of a footprint anywhere! No public records. 
the footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page. They were just a product of these slippers. A part of the costume. But Grimoire, this costume, it doesn't have claws of any kind. Uh -huh. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's the chest? It was a fake trident. The prongs match up with the oh, wounds goodness, perfectly. Right. This is similar. The handle's even covered in slime, see? Ah, but this swamp slime was one of the reasons Buggy became a suspect in the first place. Surely this only incriminates the creature further. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But that slime, it's not exactly what you think. It's juice! This stuff is an uncanny resemblance to the so-called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What? Is that bog dog a poisoned hot dog? Oh. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply. I mean, just they to had to open sure. it with a log to thing, sure so to make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his office. Mm -hmm. Remington went back to his office alone. The murder. I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out. Video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk oh. me through them? Oh. Oh. Just rearrange the descriptions oh, okay. on the left to match the sounds on the right. Fun! Drag them around and keep swapping until you're happy with the order. And if you want to hear the sounds again, no problem. I can always check my case file if I. All right. Uh, let's see. If the creaking comes first. Uh, fire hunting rifle grabs metal poker, grabs on track. Grabs metal poker. Culprit opens Remington's office door. Outcry. Remington cries out in shock and falls backward. No, not yet. Remington cries out of shock as Boggy appears. And then the blast the rifle because he's trying to hunt him. <laughs> and clang. Uh, poker? Oops. And then outcry. Cries out in shock and falls backward. Rips off some fabric. Oh, but what about the. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was. Oh, okay. I think that's it. Ah, excellent. There's Yours. just two small details bothering me. First of all, if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? <laughs> Turns out the murderer took that piece of fabric and concealed it inside the this head. This is of easy. This is a baby game. To hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp. Ah, well, that's my problem. If I like Remington it, I like fired it, though. his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank? A man of his experience? I don't think so. In fact, the answer to that question is the very last link in our chain. Yeah, what the happened? one thing that has eluded me so far. I'll drag the clue items from the left onto my drawing here. And we'll see what happens when we compare the pieces I collected with the original design I found. It was bulletproof! <laughs> Wait, you never found the body piece. The torso! <laughs> You're right, and I never would have found it. Not lying around. Not like the others. But what does this have to do with the murderer surviving the rifle shot? Yeah. This torso is probably made up of some thick material. Something covering the culprit's entire upper body. No I'm way! A point blank? Enough to, to soften... soften the impact from a bullet! Aha! Okay. Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? Shit, I don't know. In the museum, I guess? In that little door? What do you guys think? I think it's in the tree? The protest? 
What do you think it's at the protest? a single clue simple he's still wearing it oh. i don't know what you want with me sounds like you two are smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp and lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you you worked it out he had his rifle on him he got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation but why would he do that you were you were dressed as Buggy. He shouldn't you be pointing his hunt? gun at a unique scientific specimen. Not to mention oh. his main attraction. You're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret. The hunting photo was framed because... Wait. The hunting photo oh, I guess was it's framed that. because Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. Uh, Pretty close. Ah, here we go. The hunting photo leads Mr. me to believe Richard Remington right was crazy. here to hunt Boggy. Yeah, the guy already confessed really fast. You know, when people are put on the spot, they know they've been figured out, they panic. What happens? Why well, you gotta corner them? Uh, oh yeah, I thought it was the museum, but then I remembered that the guy said that he left his... He lost his other lockpick. It's pretty important, because otherwise you'd think it was that guy. <laughs> a secret society. An order of hunters. Seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man. And much further than this one swamp. The whole thing is kind of distressing. I knew something was wrong as soon as I stepped into that office. I'm glad you finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? He made Boggy his own personal project. His own obsession. For years he hunted the creature. The potential perfect addition to his collection. Oh. But he owned the tourist attraction. He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since didn't the this guy be he, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy's bog was just a front for his own little game. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not even exist. And that's why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Uh, now, don't you see? I did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. Yeah. You wanted everyone to think he was some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, they'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Oh. Everyone realized they had no business here. Yeah, he did have the strongest motives. That makes sense. How can you know? Oops, I picked the wrong one. He might be what you. Your, Detective. Oh. You. You. It's. I. It's finished. Well, don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. Uh, did I pick the wrong one? Another job. Why does it matter, huh? I. I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like you, but I yeah, never intended creepy. to kill him. Just to scare him. Convince him. Boggy wasn't going to let him live here in peace and we have any longer. a confession, but an admission. In form, he had his rifle on him. You worked out the rest yourself. What, it becomes like a thing of self-defense or whatever? But he he broke into his property, so I don't think it counts. 
I don't think it makes any difference. Right? Wasn't premediated. Is that how you say it? <laughs> But he poisoned him, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, it depends on where the swamp is located. It depends on the state laws. <laughs> well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down the... Hey, oh! Wait. He's making a run for it! Imagination is she's not real, right? Yeah, to be continued. I think the detective's a little crazy. I mean that wouldn't that wouldn't be true, right? Detectives they're not crazy, you know, no, no. No. We're not crazy. No. Mm -mm. Alright, that was fun! <laughs> Case closed! Easy, we solved it! Um... Yeah, that was pretty cool. Pretty sweet game. I guess there's a second one. Or... Is there? Maybe it's, maybe it's not out yet, like the Frog Detective game. I like mystery games, that's fun. Ah, uh, putting together the clues, solving the mystery. Wish I had. I was able to play more of them, but... It takes a while sometimes. But I'll do some research to look for some more cool games to play, like this one! Oh, this was a sequel! Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did we play it in the wrong order? Oops. Sequels Tangle Tower. Oh, there's two more. I see. First one is a flash game. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this was the first one that came up on Steam, so I, this is the one I got. Alright, um, I actually, I have some stuff to do today. I have some stuff to take care of, so we're gonna read Super Chats, and then I have to go. But, um, you guys know what's happening for the rest of the day? I'm sure there's exciting stuff still happening. We had a pretty early stream. Usually I stream... Uh, I started streams around this time. At least that's what I would like to do. 
in the future. It's just I wanted to start a little early today. To, uh... Yeah, to... To, uh... Finish early. Yes. This is the wrong song. Hold on. This is uh, this is the other song I downloaded. Hmm. Is it this one? There we go. I see. Okay, I did some. I changed something back. So let me change it back. Got it. Okay. Goofy BGM. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Cube Escape Games. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but that sounds like fun. Cube Escape. Um, this one's too cheerful. What's wrong with it? All right. So, what are we doing tomorrow? Let's see. Oh, right. Yeah, I gotta set up my Switch again. I haven't set it up yet. Should be pretty easy. I think I know where everything is. Uh, uh, I gotta download the DLC. <laughs> and then we're doing a watch along later tomorrow in the evening. Sorry, I'm gonna turn down my mic volume. I keep seeing that it's peaking, and I think it's because I have this filter on it that it increases the gain. And I don't know why. Okay. Uh, maybe it's too low now, but. Alright, this should be better. Yes, we're doing a watch along for the Kingsman movie. I believe it came out in 2014 or 2015. And what does it have in it? I had some actors in it. Some pretty well known actors in it. <clears throat> um that's tomorrow. <coughs> AMT plus five. So we'll have a stream tomorrow at AMT time and then plus five hours. Um, yeah, so we'll be playing tomorrow. I want to try the Mario Kart 8 DLC. <coughs> I would have liked to play it with uh, other people or everyone, but it's kind of like a weird thing about it. But anyways, we'll, uh, you know, play with randoms online. Yeah, whoa, whoa! Yeah, I need to drink water. I hope I'm not... Well, actually, I ran out of water. That's fine. I'll just read Super Chats and then I'll get more water. I don't think we have too much to catch up on. Yeah, I woke up this morning and my throat was hurting a little bit. But I'm hoping that it'll just go away soon. It doesn't hurt right now, so that's good. It just hurt this morning when I woke up, but I think it's because I was a little dehydrated. Um, let's see. Super chat, super chat. Alright, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for the super chats. I appreciate that. I'm gonna read them right now. Thank you guys for watching uh, this point and click stream detective mystery game. I liked it. I thought the voice acting was good. It's kind of like we watched a video together. But sometimes I feel like I can't really talk too much like over the dialogue because I want you guys to be able to hear it too. And then I also have to pay attention to it. <laughs> so it's like I can't really fit in too much. And, and then also, you know, I don't want you guys to spoil it. Some people maybe have a wiki open or something. <laughs> you guys are, you know, catching more clues than I am. You know, for whatever reason. Because I'm distracted. Because I'm streaming. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, thanks, devs. For letting us play. I would like to do some more detective games. I like it. Flex my brain. It's like reading. A little bit. Alright, I'm gonna begin reading Super Chats. <laughs> Alright, uh, Wrecky Raccoon, thank you. Yeah, the art was pretty sweet. I like the way it was animated, it looked cool. Yeah, I guess it's a. The first one was a Flash game, I never played it. Um, it sounds cool that they made it into like a full fledged game. Memphi, thank you. Yeah, it's been a while. I wanna play like a. Like a puzzle game. I think there's one... Hmm... Published 
by the same studio as Outer Wilds. Uh, called Ma Maquette. I think that's a puzzle game. I don't know. I want to play some more puzzle games. I really like puzzle games. Even though sometimes... Well, I don't know. I think they're fun. Hmm. I like Sam and Max. Sam and Max was fun. But also, yeah, it's kind of similar to this game. Yeah, because it's like a point and click. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder what wacky thing would be up to next. I thought Sam and Max was cool, but also it's like a... Because so many thi wacky things happen, I feel like uh, you're kind of just in the backseat um, for the experience, you know what I mean? As opposed to, I guess, a game where you can collect evidence and stuff. Because in Sam and Max, it'll just be like some random thing that you wouldn't have thought because it's crazy. Yeah, you're just along for the, wa the ride. It is pretty wacky though. I do like I do like that aspect, but at the same time, it's um, it's not the same, I guess, as playing like a different detective game. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to continue it at some point. Yeah, it's a roller coaster ride. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, I wish you could play the Sherlock Holmes games. But what can you do? Where was I? Mess Mountain, thank you. I may make gluten-free waffles. Want some? <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, that does sound good. Actually, I should get a waffle maker. Because I make gluten-free pancakes, but I can use the same batter for waffles too. I've never tried it before. I hope they come out crispy. Uh, Kitty Stamps, thank you. Yes. Case closed. Mystery solved. Stratify, thank you. Oh, good luck at work. Yo, no, Adi Oni, thank you. Thanks for such a fun Elden Ring stream yesterday. Looking forward to this detective game too. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with Elden Ring yesterday. I want to try next time we play like a more challenging boss or something. Yeah, that's pretty satisfying. What do I like on my waffles? I'm, I'm fine with just syrup, but if you want to go all fancy, I usually... if I Well, I don't really have waffles that often, but... I have had waffles before that have like whipped cream on them. And I think that's really good, especially if there's fruit. Like maybe the perfect waffle has... Syrup, a little bit of whipped cream, um, bananas, and strawberry. Yeah, it's tasty. That does sound good. <sighs> That's the champ, thank you. Yeah, I, I had to stay up um, late last night for uh, I'm at meeting, but... Uh, I was able to get some sleep. I got like seven hours of sleep. I slept like two hours before and then I slept till, like five hours after so or Five and a half hours after <laughs> So I got some sleep, but I am a little sleepy. Um, we're probably gonna go to sleep pretty early tonight That's good. My sleep schedule has been pretty normal uh, Eric W1, thank you <clears throat> Thank you. How am I feeling today? I feel okay. I feel right. Like I said, I was a little sleepy. Um, but I feel okay for now. I'm gonna get tired. I'm gonna get tired in like three hours. So, <laughs> uh, Guy 99 Thank you, Aaron Pumbo. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Amazing Sam. Thank you. Never heard of this game other than it's pretty short. Yeah, I think we went a little bit over the. Expected play time for it. I, I looked it up and it was like two and a half hours But we took our time a little bit, you know uh, Icarus gold cross. Thank you. If Miku, thank you Aw, glad you enjoy the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Miguel Mas, yes, thank you <laughs> That's right. You guys helped me my little investigators <laughs> Princess niche. Thank you. Oh, thank you it's also thank you. What's on the menu tonight? Well, we beat the game, so that's gone. Menu tonight? Uh, what should I eat tonight? I don't know, actually. I don't have anything planned. I'm trying to eat um, more fish, maybe that. Oh, I do have some frozen meals. Maybe I'll have that. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that. Frozen meal, tasty. Mmm, preservatives. Hi, George, did I get even accounts? Thank you. What's the mysterious myth bus doing around these parts? That's me. Kitty Sam, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I 
Yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah, it can be... That's pretty early. Yeah, that's true. Only my Rogan, thank you. Oh, solved it. FGH Magic Fish, thank you. Mysteries, how did you transfer to rams and fish pink pets from one office to another? Indeed, it is a mystery. Hmm. Involved um, some boxes and transportation. Um, how do you say? Not devices, not crevices. Uh, transportation contraptions. <laughs> uh, Green Eric, thank you. Europe, Europe money to European time stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you, wow. I'm a smart boy, thank you. Yeah, it was fun. There's other games if you guys want to play them before I play them. If you're a fan of um, point and click and... You know, good voice acting and good animation. You should play them before I play them. Because... You know, then you won't get spoiled. Uh, I'll... Jin! Oh, thank you. Frey... Ri Reason... Channel. Thank you. Soon did it vibes. From me. Huh? Why would you say that, huh? Eric W1, thank you. Learn from the spare hat guy. He talks about in case you lose your own hat again. <laughs> yeah, I've already been through like three of my hats actually. But uh, I didn't have them on hand. I did have to order them. That's why sometimes you guys see me without my hat. Well, only a few times it's happened. Amelia Sim, thank you. Correct. Closed. Uh, Red Dude, thank you. This game... I thought this game would be about a creepy detective book. Oh, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. I liked it. Boggy was cute. I'm glad we got to see Boggy at the end. KG still plays. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. oh, thank you, thank you. I locked picked their heart like an oblivion. Mahiro san, arigato, ame chan. What does it mean? Calling me a detective in the game, even though obviously that's normal, but it felt nice, you know. They were referring to me as my proper title. Detective. Detective. I like it. I want to hear more. Uh, TK, thank you. Uh, hey, Ame, previously you talked about what small Ame did to get into the council of Ame, but what did you do to get into the council? Um... I don't know if I should talk about this. Well, you guys know that Ame, the other small Ame. You know, she was on the bus stop. No, I'm not gonna say anything. No, no, no. And do it be thank you. Have you uh, also looked into FMV style detective games like Contradiction? Oh, FMV? Is that like those ones where. You like watch it and then you pick an option or something? Psycho! Thank you! Really stream? Woo -woo. Oh! Oh! motion video. Oh! I've never, um... I haven't really thought about doing those types of games. I don't know. I don't really feel too gamey to me, but it might be entertaining. Content's content. Uh, Rocky Raccoon, thank you. The game isn't too easy, you're just too smart? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Benito, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and like Scooby-Doo. It was old man Jenkins. <laughs> now I would've got away with it too. Uh, Rocky Raccoon, thank you. Memphi, thank you. Foggy is real. I can't believe he's real. I wish Foggy was really real. Hold on, my eye. Uh, Askapay, thank you so much for 100 big super chat. Thank you. Game didn't stand a chance against Hollow Life's number one detective. Very, very true. Accurate. <laughs> thank you so much.
so much for the support. I appreciate it. Are you VTuber one? Yeah, is there like a swamp tuber? Or they're like a Loch Ness monster or something? That'd be cute. Uh, can I stamps? Thank you. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling idols. You cute detective. <laughs> ah, my eye! I gotta like wash my face or something. My eyes, it's. Uh, Chip is a squirrel. Thank you. Easy. Uh, boss, thank you. Another case closed. Whoa, whoa. Thanks to the pack schedule this week. Oh, my college class starts next week. Great way to end my vacation. Oh, good luck on your classes. Hope you enjoy the streams. The yeah, and three should be cryptids. I want to know more about cryptids. Are there more cute cryptids like uh, Boggy? Thank you. Uh, Chair dude, thank you. Hey dude, oh thank you. Maja D, thank you. Just in time. Thank you. Another feather in your cap. <laughs> Damn Petrov, thank you. Pretty sure this detective on the screen is a bit crazy. I don't know what you guys. I don't know what you mean by that. I'm not crazy. I've never done anything that would lead you to. You know, think that, right? I'm pretty normal. Just your normal average detective. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy, son, arigato. Amazing Sam, thank you. I'll give it a sec. Get out of my swamp for real, for real. <laughs> Maybe he did, yeah. I just couldn't understand him. Boom, forty-four. Thank you. Elementary, ain't it? <laughs> Yo san, arigato. Kingdom Silver. Thank you. Daylight Knights, thank you. If you're good, ever get your hand on PS4, PS5, consider checking out the game Judgment. Ooh, spin off of Yakuza. Oh, series of oh, trying to solve bizarre murders. That does sound like fun. Yeah, I'm planning on getting one. Is it easier yet to get a PS5? What do you guys think? No? Not yet? Bang. I saw an article that it was like easier now to get graphics cards. <laughs> PS5's encrypted. <laughs> yeah, good timing. There'll be some on Amazon Prime tomorrow. What the heck? Guys, don't order any. I'm gonna try. Stop! Eric W1, thank you. I like the new BGM using your new opening. It gives me City Pop vibes. Didn't you call you used it before in the opening for I'm in the AM? No, I think that was a different song. Um, mm, they both came from Audio Stock, so maybe it's like the same artist. Hmm. JH Gardener, thank you. Uh, it brings back good memory of Oprah Den. Yeah, I loved playing that game. I think if, uh, if I had like a top 10 or 15, I think that game would definitely be in it. I really liked that one. That was fun. I wish there was more like that. I, I just like the, the way you play it and stuff is super cool. Uh, translate. That's their name. Thank you. First dragon. Thank you, 50 big sub chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. <laughs> Hollow Lives number one riddle or solver. A riddle riddle solver. I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm not really too good with riddles usually, but like with other puzzles, I feel like I do pretty well. Uh, Vivek, thank you. This a thank you. Soul Champ, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, the UI for the game was pretty cool. It was uh, very useful. 
some parts are ready of Ace Attorney. Oh, yeah, maybe it's just the game type. That's fun. Yeah, huh? Uh, come Thank you. Good morning. Onuldo Joyun, hello. Hello. Do I say? Uh, means good morning. Oh, hi, oh, I'm Yenway, thank you. A <laughs> buggy makura. <laughs> That's cute. Is that real? If somebody actually owns one? Buggy makura. Uh, turtle cubes, thank you. Hey, yeah, buggy just threw that guy. I like that. Marvel trades, thank you. Did you say you weren't in the Ami Council yet? Oh, there must have been a different Ami that was here. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm uh, not in the Ami Council. I am Millie Watson. Timeline 1337. Imaginate, thank you. Oh, thank you. Good yes, Sam, thank you. <laughs> Every guy, 99, thank you. PS5 will be available at 8 a.m. Pacific on Amazon. At Amazon Prime. Dot com. No, guys, stop. Why'd you advertise it? Now you can't get one because everybody else is going to get one. Now everybody knows. <sighs> right. No more super chats. I'm not going to read them, but thank you so much. And thank you for the uh, super chats in the. You know, the yesterday thingy. Before the game started. Before the stream even started. Uh-huh. Thanks so much. I will see you guys. It... Tomorrow. Yes. Okay, I have to go. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And see you tomorrow with Mario Kart 8 DLC and the watch along. I'll try to schedule the frames earlier, but... Mm, yeah, I forgot today. Okay, bye!